Okay, um, let's go with e4. I'll try to commentate throughout the way, but you know, it's three minutes. Doesn't give me that much time. Uh, so I'm playing Snyder's variation. This is, uh, I'm just practicing this opening. I haven't played it that much, that often. Hmm. Let's go like this. Uh, e5 with knight goes here. No, I shouldn't do stupid stuff. Yeah, knight on f3 wasn't a good choice. Knight on e2 was better. Yeah, okay. I think I misplayed it. Yeah, a6, a4. I'm not scared. D3. Okay, he still can play b5. I have too much defense there. But the knight here is bad. If he was on e2, I would play f4. So let's see, let's play the knight g5. And in this case, uh, let's go knight h3. Is this an issue for us? Um, yes and no. Let's go with knight e2 and f4. I'm already one minute down. Ah, hi Microkill, nice to see you. What's up, how was your holiday? Um, okay, so first I take. And then... Should I take this guy? Completely misplayed. Go like this. Okay. Then let's win some material. <laughs> grabbing the pawn, grabbing the pawn. Hmm. Let's take this guy first. Now let's take this. Knight takes queen e2. Just want to get back the pawn. Okay, here I can take and pin the, the queen as well, why not? Um, okay, so let's see. Uh, I shouldn't think that long. Okay, queen g4. Just threaten and checkmate. Simple chess, guys. Even though I think queen g would be stronger because I want this diagonal maybe exchange rooks at some point yeah queen g2 maybe would have been better mm, let's see okay queen uh, f4 threatening here here and doubling up here okay uh, let's grab this next move exchange the queens um, let's connect the rooks. Now rook g7 is a threat. So he protects, but now actually um, I can force an exchange here. The less pieces he has, the less defensive chances he has, so it's very good for us. And in terms of the time, it's no issue for us, to be honest, because 
Um, I have two seconds adding up with every move, but still, uh, I should be careful. So first of all, let's bring the king to the center. Mm. Here, maybe even even play b4. Just using the idea that the pawn protects the knight and he cannot take. Now, he can play something like this, some tricky stuff, but then I can go rook here or play b5. And now we're just advancing the b-pawn. And our rook uh, is cutting off black's king. We can just bring it back here. White square, light square, it's, uh, it's very nice. Uh, if bishop goes here, ah, okay, just protect with the king. Alright, that was a nice game. Um, I did mess up the opening though, so let's, let's head back and see um, how sh I should have played. So in Snyder's variation, uh, knight f3. Okay, knight f3 is the popular move. I don't know why I rejected it. Um, knight f6. Okay, so here e5. e5 should be played. Knight c3 is not good for for white. Yeah. All right. So e5, and then he can go uh, knight g4 or knight e5. Let's check knight g4 morph. No, I don't like it. Let's check knight e5. Uh, so knight e5 and here g3. Wow, so weird. Maybe c4. Yeah, c4 is nice. Making the knight go away. Let's go knight d e7. Knight c3. Knight f5 or knight g6. Wow, so many knight moves. It's crazy. Knight b5. Heading for d6, I guess. So he plays d6. Very weird. Very weird. What can I say? I don't feel comfortable here because it's a kind of new position to me. But uh, okay. Okay, next time I'm gonna try e5 in similar position but why why knight c3 is so bad i don't understand because of d5 yeah it looks terrible because of d5 i guess yeah okay so i should play here e5 all right got it okay 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 let's go back and do one more game um, wait wait what's this 10 minutes no let's do three, three plus two mm, this time let's go with d4 uh, c4, 9c3. <coughs> okay, we have the Nimtso defense. Uh, I just play here e3 on bishop b4. <laughs> now, this move um, if I play a3, will he go bishop e7? Let's check. Maybe a3 was a mistake. Yeah, because now bishop, bishop on c1 looks silly. Uh, takes, takes. All right, let's exchange everything here. I just want to free up my bishop. He doesn't allow me to do so. Nicely played, f4. 
but here maybe I can grab the pawn on h7 with e5 forcing the knight, the defender of h7 to retreat. I think he missed this and bring my queen to g6. Doesn't look good to me. Doesn't look good at all. Check. I can take the knight, but I can grab the rook as well. Yeah, and he loses the, the queen. That was interesting. What do you think, guys? Did you like the game? Let's see. Let's do a bit of anal analysis here. Okay, so here I played e3. It's the second popular move. Bishop g5 is recommended more. I'm okay with e3, to be honest. Now, a3 is a mistake. Yeah. Yeah, because takes, takes, and this bishop has some issues after knight e4. He cannot go out. He is blocked by his own pawns. Um... Oh, bishop d3 is nice, because... If knight takes c3, bishop takes h7 check, king takes, and queen d3, winning back the, the material. Very interesting idea. Um, yeah, g5 was too aggressive, that was a blunder. But besides that, if black could uh, will, um, place here d6 or c5, he, his position is actually better. Let's give it a try. So c5, knight d2, I want to make this knight go away, knight takes, uh, bishop takes, and knight c6, okay, also looks like some Dutch defense structure, very interesting, alright, um, let's go for a new game. Afterwards, I'm gonna go to, to the toilet. I drink too much water. Mm. Ah, okay, that was fast. Uh, knight f3. Uh, let's go with uh, d5. Uh -huh. G3. Uh... Mm. Let's go with c5, grab more space in the center. Knight c6, and here, um, bishop f5, knight f6, mm. let's go with e6, here. I don't mind keeping the bishop here, I can place it on b7 later on. Um, thinking, thinking... Uh, always this, these structures, I don't know where to take. Maybe I should just... Let's keep the pressure. Okay, he takes here, I take. Okay, so he made an isolated pawn for me with all the advantages and disadvantages of this thing. Um, think bishop d6. Bishop d6, he gonna play bishop here. All right, let's keep it here. Mm. 
All right, bishop e6, just supporting the isolated pawn, developing a piece. Mm, he really wants my bishop. Um, no, this bishop, I, I need it. I need it. I, I can't give it to you, I'm sorry. Let's go bishop c7. And now... Yeah. Now this bishop is also bishop, but if he if he grabs this bishop, then I can improve my pawn structure. That's my idea. So now I don't have isolated pawn no more, and I have two strong pawns in the center. Um, should I start pushing them? Uh, the, the the b5 is unpleasant. Move. So maybe first let's play a6. Well, this knight is under attack. Mm, queen d7. Yeah, queen c2, oh my god. Did I blunder? Hmm. Did I blunder? Oh no. Yes, I blundered. Okay, how do I get out from it? seconds on the clock without a piece yeah of course he wants this mm. oh, he got two pieces now no <laughs> Okay, okay, this is horrible. This is horrible. What did I do wrong? E6, okay. So, here so far so good. The opening is okay and then he plays c4 now I should have taken ah no bishop e7 is a move as well but uh, it's less preferred okay bishop e7 is a move now c takes d5 e takes d5 pawn takes bishop takes and a3 castle and b4 what does the engine says? Okay, better for, for white, but not that much. Yeah, I should have gone to bishop e7. Bishop e6 was in necker. Not that good move. Um, knight c3, bishop e6, knight goes here. Okay, I shouldn't have mo moved my bishop to c7. So I played. 94 instead Or maybe a6 preventing b5 Let's see a6 Knight takes queen takes Bishop b3 interesting move queen c7 rook c1 94 Okay, so I have isolated pawn and Also, he has a pair of bishops which gives him an advantage not that the position that black would prefer to play here, to be honest. Where's the music? Um. Okay. 
Yeah, uh, I don't like this position as black that much. So maybe if we go back, bishop e7, this move. Instead of bishop b7, let's go with the theory. Let's take on d4. Knight takes. Let's see what's the best move here. Uh, what about leeches? Mm. Bishop c5. Bishop c5 here. Knight b3. Bishop b6. C takes. Knight takes. Knight c3. Castle. Knight a4, attacking the bishop. Queen f6, developing. Bishop d2, rook d8. Okay, okay, so here you have a, a long, long game. And we don't have an isolated pawn on d5, which is good. Even if he takes here, we should take here. Now, the, the pawns look terrible, but we get the uh, a file for us. So it shouldn't be that bad. Yeah. Queen c1, threatening bishop g5, h6, rook d1, bishop d7, developing. Alright, it's a, it's a whole game from here. So if we come back to the, this position, instead of playing bishop e7, we should have played more active move pawn takes on d4. Ah, there's also a game of Magnus Carlsen in this position. Cool. All right, uh, gonna take a short break, like one, two minutes. No, no more than that. Go to the toilet, and um, we'll continue from here. So thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned for more. Thank you for waiting, I'm back, and uh, let's go for a new Blitz game. <sighs> 3 plus 2. E4, C5, Sicilian defense. Uh, here, I want to try D5, never play D5 here. And now maybe knight c6. Mm. Now, should I move this bishop outside or not? Real question. Mm. I want to play something weird here. Let's go queen c7 first. Now, let's go bishop g4, and castle long, 
maybe six first. Yeah, let's go castle. Let's do something crazy. Okay. And I think he didn't see knight d4 coming. Piece here. Okay, he resigned. That was fast. Twelve moves, guys. Amazing. Let's give a short analysis. So d5, was this a good move? I'm trying to improve my theory. That's why I'm always coming back to the openings, because I want to see if I played it correctly. That's how basically I try to improve my game. Uh, knight c6, here queen c7 is not a move. It's not a move at all. But it's not that bad. So here it's better um, to play either knight h6 or bishop g4. For example, bishop g4, bishop e2, I think e6, yeah. Mm, castle and what? Knight g7. Okay, this is no issue for us because we're guarding the f5. He can capture our bishop. And knight e7, the idea is to put knight maybe here, on a nice square. So that's interesting. Okay, instead queen c7, bishop b5, bishop g4, a castle, and now a castle. And he should have taken on c6. Instead he played d3 and uh, now we're just winning. Okay, 